All right, I seem to have just completely forgot that there was a 2.1.4 in the previous question. So let's do that and then we'll do 2.2. The fixed monthly service fee of 110 Rand on 30 um, November 2022 includes VAT. The same service fee, excluding VAT, was charged five years earlier. Determine the service fee, including VAT, that would have been paid five years earlier. Now, students always get confused with this. The whole thing they're trying to show you here is this was 15%, the VAT there, and at this point in time, it was 14%. So basically, what we have to do is we have to strip 15% out there and then add on 14%. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to say 2.1.4, 110 divided by 1.15. Now, students always get confused by this. When I'm adding on VAT, I multiply by 1.15 which just means you increase it by 15%. When I want to take that away, what's the opposite of multiply? Divide. And so as simple as that. So you say 110, ooh, 110 divided by 1.15. And so the price without that is this. Okay, you can keep all the numbers in there. I'm just going to put it like that. Well, now we have to take that amount and we have to multiply it by 1.14 right? Because that is our, our um, VAT rate that applied, right, in the year, oh, sorry, wrong, that was the, the addendum, in the year 2017. And that's a thing that students always get wrong. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to take this. So remember, all these decimal places you're going to keep, you can even write them out here, because remember, we only round off at the end. Okay, so then we're going to times this by 1 comma 1 4, and my price in 2017 of that service fee would have been this. Okay, remember round off to two decimal places, the third decimal is three, so we round down, and that is our value there. Okay, so be very careful here. All they're wanting you to do is show that you know that the VAT rate's changed, remove the VAT of 15, add the VAT of 14. Let's move on to 2.2. .2. 2.2 is a tax question, and I must be honest with you, a particularly easy ta tax question. I would expect that you would get a more difficult one than this. But let's look at this question. So David, we're still with David from our previous question. David's average monthly taxable income is this much. Oh, goodness. Okay. Which includes monthly interest earned on his investments, right? Now, that's quite important because we worked out a completely different salary at the top. So you could be thinking, oh, no, I got the previous question wrong. No, you didn't. This one includes investment income. So we're fine. Then it says, he does not earn any bonuses and he's not a medical aid. Medical aid is quite expensive. So it makes sense given his income. Right? His income. Table three on Annex to B. Okay, go find Annex to B. Shows the tax the income tax table for the 2022 and 2023, remember tax years run from the 1st of March until the end of February the next year. That's why it's over two years. And the tax rebates over three, over a three-year period. Okay. Identify which income bracket will be used to calculate David's annual tax. David's claim, David claims that he would not be paying any income tax. Verify showing all calculations. Oh, I've just completely, completely jumped. Let's go back here. 2.2.1. Identify which income bracket um, will be used to calculate David's annual tax. Okay, so remember, tax is always calculated on an annual level. This is given in months. So we need to first and foremost go and times this by 12. Okay, to get his annual rate. Very important, right? Students, and remember, it's more than two marks. So we know if it's more than two marks, a little bit of calculation required. 8978 8 times 12. So his annual income is that. Okay, now, given that annual income, where's he going to sit? Okay, well, he actually sits in the first income bracket, right? Because he's less than 226. So we say, well, he is in... Tax bracket A. Okay, and we're done. Because all they do, and this is a standard question, they often get you to figure out the tax bracket and then to calculate the tax. So we've done pretty well there. Okay, just make sure that you label your questions um, correctly. I sometimes do that incorrectly. Okay, 
Let's now go on to the next question. So now it's one of these verify, right? So it says David claims that he should not be paying any income tax. Verify showing all calculations whether his claim is valid. Okay, let's do this calculation. So we know he's in the first tax bracket. So we're going to say, well, 107,736. And we're going to times that by 18%. And you can be saying, good grief, Marks, what do you mean? Well, if you're in that tax bracket, you get 18% tax. This is a very simple tax question. Okay. So please just be careful that you also have practiced more complex questions than this. Because this can give you a false sense of security. Okay. And that is how much tax he would pay. Okay, now, but what's very important about this, right, is remember he has rebates. And rebates are based on what? Rebates are based on age. Okay, so how old is our boy, is our guy, David? He is 68. Okay, so we know that he is going to qualify for primary and secondary. Not tertiary, because he's not over 65. Okay, so what tax year is this? Importantly, it is 2022 to 2023. So ignore these, right? We don't care about those. We're looking at those there because he is primary and secondary. So we then say, well, this 19,000 Rand, right? We're going to subtract from it our two rebates. Our first rebate being our primary and then our secondary. So you have to remember, you, if you qualify for the secondary, you also qualify for the primary. If you qualify for the tertiary, you get the secondary and primary as well, okay? So it's like cumulative. Very important to note. Okay, so we have this. We then say subtract. And we subtract the other one. Be careful you type it in correctly. And it gives me negative 6032.52, okay? Well, that's quite interesting because what does that mean? It means that... There's negative tax, right? Negative tax means you don't pay tax, right? You don't pay tax if there's negative tax. So in this instance, right? And we're not finished. In this instance, I know I put all these weird equal signs. His claim is valid, right? And you have to say that. Students always forget. So please finish off. Claim is valid. And then you're done. Okay. That is us done with 2.2. .2. Let's move on to 2.3.